guys, it's JJ, and this is Today with JJ. So to continue with my Dallas Fort Worth DFW videos, and these videos are for anyone considering moving over, especially if you're moving from Florida, specifically the South of Florida region. And if you aren't moving from Florida or the South Florida region, hopefully this may help you as well. I wanted to go over other neighborhoods that I experienced that were also really, really great as far as living and the culture. So let's jump right in to this video. My ultimate favorite neighborhood outside of Uptown Dallas would be the Bishop Arts District. It's located 10 minutes south of downtown and is one of Dallas most charming neighborhoods. It's very artsy. It has a lot of craft food stores there. And also there is one of the best barbecue spots called Lockhart Smokehouse Barbecue. Also living in the Bishop Arts District, it's really artsy. It does give you that nice hipster vibe and the rents there are not bad at all. If I had a second option to choose from where I would have chosen to live, it would have definitely been the Bishop Arts District. The next area that I absolutely really love and I spent a lot of my time there. And if you're looking to party in the downtown Dallas area, you have to check out Deep Elm. Deep Elm, which is Southernese for Deep Elm, the area's original name, used to be the mecca for jazz, blue, and artists. So if you are from the South Florida area and you know Wynwood, where there's a lot of art pieces, graffitied walls, Deep Elm gives you that feel. It is absolutely amazing. One of my favorite places to go and visit is chill 360 hands down the best ice cream i've ever had especially in dallas another area that i really really loved is the dallas design district up until the mid 2000s the dallas design district situated two miles northwest of downtown was an industrial hub i used to go to a lot of events down in that area and i tell you it looks super industrial and it's very very sophisticated last but certainly not least this is really centrally located downtown it's a subsection of the downtown area and it is the art district now the art district this is where you can find my absolute favorite place that i used to go to every single weekend um, the dallas museum of art also Clyde Warren Park, which I have talked about in my last couple of videos. When I tell you it gives you an awesome feel, it's great for families, great if you want to have a picnic there. And on the weekends, they have food trucks and it's right across the street from the museum. I absolutely love the art district. I mean, there's also other museums there as well. Another great place is to visit the Reunion Tower, which is also located downtown. And a little bonus is the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum that is located in the West End. And if you're going to Dallas on a weekend and you're going to be there on a Sunday, definitely check out the Dallas Farmer's Market located on Houston Street absolutely amazing i don't care what you do when you go to dallas if you're there on a sunday take some time earlier in the morning maybe a little bit before 12 o'clock maybe from 11 to like 1 and you can find food from all different cultures they have really great vegan food there as well there is also an indoor market that sells different things like jamaican food and farm raised food it is absolutely amazing i went religiously every single sunday so these are the areas that i absolutely love the most in the downtown areas so if you didn't want to live directly downtown or in the uptown area again these are other really nice areas to definitely check out now if you decided that you wanted to stay outside of the downtown area and you're looking for somewhere to like party have a good time lounge around 
definitely check these areas out especially deep alum you'll you won't regret it <laughs> Well, guys, thank you so much for coming by my channel and continue to support me. If you've gotten this far and this video helped you at all, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to click the bell notification button so you know every time I post a video. You can put it to always if you like. <laughs> and thank you again. And until tomorrow, guys, be safe. Bye.